I'm back. So I've got my trusty number 10 paintbrush and I've got a new plate and I put out some of my um, raspberry because it's blue sherbet and and as you can see the blue areas in here really will serve to um, accentuate shadow and since I'm killing two birds with one stone and all the painting that I'm doing today is I'm laying in some of this wonderful pigment that these wonderful people managed to pull together just got some phosphorus and and they managed to tint it a nice blue it won't really I mean I don't know why he had to put me down but that's fine because quite honestly all the masters glazed that's what they call it glaze thin paint is a glaze however you get there adding water to it adding sand to it and making it thinned out that way anything that you just come along and you just um add a little little color uh, to the surface and you just go over it and like that's what i'm doing right now i want to i want to make my shaded areas just that much more shaded so i'm coming in and at night time these areas unless i cover them up further with further paint or with solid objects i'm still kind of up in the air about if i'm gonna put any solid objects on this right now i like the sherbert colors they're just really pretty together so i'm kind of just going for that um almost 40 years right here i'm painting the edges so you see it i'm going to put this in a frame but depending on how people want to frame it in the future i don't want to limit them you can even do a very very college-esque just hang it on the wall as it is it's it's a, it's only you know what is it 11 16 of an inch or something like that in the width as you can see i'm painting on my stove because it's high i don't want it to be stripey stripey and that's one of the reasons that i went ahead and went in with all the different glow in the dark orange piece and put it in here because i didn't want this to be a flat spiral you know like a shaded rainbow that you'd wear on a t-shirt or something this is deeper this is more more than that this will be something that will look like a landscape when i'm finished and it's just going to be a spiral landscape with a very hot center and i will come in here and make that very hot and from that i have my spiral and then i have my shadows because stuff on top of it is going to shadow over this and then i have the texture aspect of it so areas that are going to be closer to you this should be popping out towards you if you hold it on trying to look at it that way then you can see it that way so you see how it's it's doing its thing so all right well i like it i like where i'm going with it i'm going to go ahead and keep going in here and doing some more with my blues and get my shadows in i don't want to lose my oranges but and as you know the there's a real wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, competition that goes on between blues and oranges because they are complementary. They're like the yin and yang. And it's hard to say what side of the force they're on, just like male, female. 